Hi everyone. Hopefully. Hello everyone. This is Marie. This is Dan. And we have our guest here. This Sava. is Svava. Oh, 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 okay. It's not on. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So welcome and um, <clears throat> we're pleased to be here with Svava and um, I think that this will be a fun interview. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and actually, before we start, like we've been doing with our other shows, um, I'd like to anchor our show on the fifth miracle principle, which I'm going to read right now. It's so fitting with our guest as well. And it says, miracles are habits and should be involuntary. They should not be under conscious control. Consciously selected miracles can be misguided. <laughs> What's really neat is because... Um, we wanted Savava for our first show, and the guidance wasn't there. And we didn't know when she was going to end up on our show, if that was even going to happen. So in and of itself, the fact that she is here on our show, and it's also the last show that Dan and I are going to be doing in person, because I'll be traveling to Camus. So it's kind of fitting. All of these things are just, they have their own way of coming up and showing up as miracles. Right, so... <laughs> We are um, about to embark on this uh, question journey. And I'd like to, uh, the first question I really have for Svava is, she had mentioned when we asked her that she might explain a little bit about or have this, this walk of trust that she's been on with um, her life. And uh, it went from a life of, of being kind of fearful and and uh, depending on some medications and things to to one of um, living a life a life of devotion and uh, and love of Jesus and so with that I would ask you to um, maybe fill in the fill in the blanks yeah <laughs> yeah well um, yeah I I have been like feeling Jesus is present in my life, my whole life. And um, when the course came in my life, I was totally desperate. It was, I tried everything. I, like you mentioned, I, I had been on medication for decades. I have had countless depressions, many mental illness labels. So uh, I, was, I was totally desperate. So when the course came into my life, <clears throat> I was so willing. I was like, I'll do anything. This is, this is it. This is going to save my life, I felt. Um, and uh, I remember just, I was living in Denmark, and I, I had the book, Course in Miracles in Danish. And I opened the book, and I heard Jesus say to me, no, you have to read this book in English. Mm. And I was, okay, I'm willing. So I bought, closed the book, and I bought it in uh, in English. And then Jesus started guiding me. <clears throat> One morning I was taking, I'm <clears throat> going to take my medication. And I heard, no, you have to get out of this medication. And uh, I had been trying it on my own, but so much fear coming up about it. But I heard, I got very precise uh, instructions from Jesus. I heard this medication you can get rid of now, this now, this yeah. you have to reduce mm -hmm. yeah. and I heard very specific reduced to this doses for this many weeks and I just followed and because it wasn't me myself Svava trying to do anything I was just following this voice I wasn't fearful mm -hmm. because I wasn't trying anything it was I was totally dependent on on Jesus on God to do this for me so after five months I was out of all medication I had been for, yeah, decades, depended on sleeping medication, anxiety for bipolar, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it was, <clears throat> I think I was so desperate and so willing because it was this, or my option was suicide, actually. It was just, okay, I, I have to go full in and just trust this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, had you um, 
had you already been studying the course previous to this point? No, I uh, I had been studying other things um, for for many years, but nothing was really working for me. Uh, I always got back to being depressed and yeah, and suicidal. So, uh, but I really felt that I had been praying for something to come in my life that would would work. And I was watching at that point videos with Eckhart Tolle. Um, and then he mentioned the course. And when he did that, I was like, this is it. This is it. I felt this mm. spark in my heart. Yeah. This, is, this is it. This is going to change my life. So, yeah. So it wasn't many years ago. I started studying the course in January 2016. Mm. And it's just been very quick. I think it's because I was so willing and I just followed and I could hear specific guidance from Jesus. Yeah. 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 So are these <clears throat> hearing him is really, was it like a voice or was it like your thoughts? What, how did that come about? It was, it's not like hearing with your ears, but it's like he was speaking to my mind. It still does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I hear sentences. Yeah. yeah. How soon after that did you meet David? How soon after this whole um, process transpired? Yeah, well, after I got out of the medication, I was like, okay, what now? I'll do anything. I was on my knees. And um, at that point, some songs started coming to me in the middle of the night. And, uh, <clears throat> and then suddenly, I, I wasn't really looking for anything. I had not been like listening to David's videos or anything. Not really. They like, passed sometimes a bit on YouTube, but... Um, but, uh, but then this retreat came up on the screen in Holland with David and Francis, Jenny and Helena. And I just felt this, I just felt in my heart that I, it was like I had already been there. Mm -hmm. I was, I had to be there, but I was so fearful. You know, I, I was so afraid of people. I was just hiding in my apartment with my two twin boys, they were teenage boys. I didn't really go out to sh grocery shopping unless it was nighttime before the shops closed down because then no people would be there. So I was, you know, totally, and I had never traveled on my own or anything, but I felt I'm going to be there and it was in Holland. And uh, I was totally freaking out, but somehow I signed up for this. And after a week, I just like, I can't do this. I tried to cancel. <laughs> but I never got response from this email. <laughs> so Jesus had another plan. And uh, yeah, I was so, so afraid. And I, uh, <clears throat> I had a plan. You know, I had to fly to Holland and I had to take two different trains and a bus to the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and I had all planned my flight when it landed, where to go, which platform and everything. And then my flight was delayed. And I was sitting on the plane and I was totally <laughs> freaking out. I was so afraid. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And then suddenly when the plane landed, my fear just flipped around and I got so excited. It was like, I was, oh my God, I did this. Mm. I made it. I'm here. I'm in Holland. Mm. And I was so, just so happy. And I started talking to people on the plane, asking them for guidance. And I, I never really talked to people. <laughs> I was so, so, so different. I was like, oh, something is taking over. And mm -hmm. so, um, <clears throat> yeah. And one guy on the plane, he said, oh, my parents live there. I had the address. So I, all the way, I got people helping me buy tickets and leading me to the platform, to the bus. And had holy encounters on the train, on the bus and everything. And uh, I remember th uh, when I got out of the bus, it was dark and it was like on, in the country in Holland. And I got out of the bus with my bag and I thought, okay, Jesus, where do I go now? And, like, and then I heard, turn around, go to the house behind you and knock on the door. And I turned around and there was some light there. It was like 9.30 in the evening. And I walked down and knocked on the door and, and this elderly couple opened the door, they didn't speak any English. So I was trying to like explain with the address, I had to go there and there. And 
and they, they were just so so lovely they they draw a mat for me and the guy he walked half of the way with me carried my bag and it was yeah and this just changed my life totally it was like wow who am i everything i thought i was all the fear everything it yeah, definitely miracle principle number five right now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's involuntary and all just happened. Yeah. And so now to see you traveling and singing in public all the time. Wow. Yeah, oh my God. I, I was not doing music before the course at all. I was uh, yeah, different kinds of clothing design and nursing and stuff. I was always trying to fit in the world. Mm. Um so this, this music just came after the course and that has been a lot of resistance for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, just the singing in public or speaking and, and taking down these songs mm -hmm. and now playing the guitar. And it was, yeah, I think it was three weeks before the quantum immersion retreat. I heard you have to start playing the guitar. And I started playing, and uh, and in two weeks I wrote twelve songs. It was I couldn't stop. It was just, and I couldn't just. It was just, and they came so quick. And um, <clears throat> I don't know what it is for. <laughs> I have no idea. And I've been, you know, when my mind starts going into hypotheticals, what it is for, in like in the future, am I supposed to do anything with this? Or I just get like. Mm -hmm. confused and I, I lose myself in it mm -hmm. so it's it's a good practice for me to just always come back mm -hmm. yeah. to the now mm -hmm. it's not about music or playing or mm -hmm. anything yeah. it's like yeah yeah I want to share one thing we went to see this movie um, um, last week uh, with this man that has so much I don't remember the name of it I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. And, uh, and during the movie, it's about this man that has all this unworthiness and starts writing songs and all that. And I remember sitting there and I said to Jesus, okay, my function is to write songs and sing. And then I heard, no, <laughs> no. And then he said, no, your function is to, <clears throat> to be love. To be a, Yeah. And I just started crying because it was, it was so deep for me because I thought I had to do something in form. And it's not, about, it's not about doing anything at all. It's all about being, being the truth of who we are, being me, just being mm -hmm. love and, mm -hmm. and joy and just be happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was such a relief for me. First, I was like, what? What then? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> But then it was just, I could feel, wow, this is such a relief. I don't have to do anything. I just have to be. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, that's fascinating. Um, I was curious, too. I know that you met David then at that, at that uh, retreat, kind of a weekend retreat or what. And um, <clears throat> um, you're, you're in relationship with him. And I was wondering if um, for a lot of people um, that is a challenge to be with a mystic like that and um thought i'd get your input on that the uh <laughs> how's, how's it going <laughs> well it's a total flusher oh my god it's a <laughs> flusher i like that word <laughs> perfect <laughs> yeah i you know all these beliefs old beliefs false beliefs i have they, you know, they come up, but David, he's just like reflecting the truth all the time. So sometimes it's just so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, everything just comes up, mm. everything. And it's just, it's a full-time job. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He likes pizza. Are you into pizza? Yeah, it's yeah. funny. We, we like mostly the same things. <laughs> That's not a flusher. That's not a flusher, the pizza. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and music and yeah. So many yeah. But all my you know, all my issues about not being good enough and 
exclusion, unworthy and everything mm -hmm. this comes up. But he always shows me the truth in it. Yeah. 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 And sometimes it can be very... <sighs> yeah. Sometimes I just explode and I have to just go for a walk. I use walking a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Just to... <laughs> kind of let it process release. the healing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, more questions. Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> um, do you feel that um, I mean, Jesus tells us that our lives reflect our desires, mm. and that and that mm. we are living um, this is essentially a projected life of of what we think we are. And <clears throat> have you uh, have you gotten any terrific insights from from that um kind of a uh, question or that kind of uh understanding that that uh you're not what you were and and, and what are you now uh, <laughs> who am i <laughs> who the are biggest you? question yeah <clears throat> yeah you talked about desires um it's more like i'm letting go of all desires uh, in form. I, my one desire is the peace of God, is all I desire. So all, everything I see that is not true, it's such a gift for me because then I can let it go and, and come back to my one desire, the peace of God. Yeah. What is your experience of your twin boys now? What is that like <laughs> in this journey of awakening? Yeah, well, that was that was absolutely amazing when I <clears throat> when I uh, had been to this retreat in Holland and I just knew in my heart that I was I was going to go a different way. I was <clears throat> going to gonna leave everything behind and uh, and all these thoughts about you know what about what about my family what about my boys what about everything and uh, then one night I, I I said to Jesus you have to make it obvious for, them, for me how can I how can I do this and um, I shared this before I was um, blowing out candles in my in my living room and uh, <clears throat> one of the candles slipped out of my hand and the wax ran over a photo of me and my boys and it deleted me out of the photo the wax just went over me and then I heard Jesus say how does this feel oh. <laughs> and uh, something just happened to me there I, <clears throat> I I felt this different kind of love for my boys that it's it was something it felt so free. All these uh, uh, ideas I had about what they should be or do or whatever, this, everything just got flushed away. And uh, I could just feel that my, I could just, yeah, it was, I could hear, job well done. You're done. And um, yeah, it was just so, so, so amazing. I, I really felt like my role as a, the concept of a mom was, was finished and everything was okay, that everything was going to be taken care of. <laughs> and, um, but I was f in fear about sharing this with my boys. So uh, I was just praying for Jesus to, to speak through me. Mm -hmm. And one evening at dinner, it just came out of me that I don't remember really what I said, but I shared that I, I needed to, to go. And, uh, and they said to me, mom, you gotta go. Oh. They said that, uh, you always, always taught us to follow our heart and our happiness. You have to, mm. you have to do that. So my joy in it and my, like, I was so clear that it was that. Mm. So my reflection was, was that mm. everything was okay. So, and today we have, 
we I, actually we have, have never had such a beautiful relationship before. Well, we had a beautiful relationship, but now it's even even deeper, and uh, and they are happy. You know, when I have a call call with them on Skype, they're just oh, mom, it's I just got a job, and they're just like in the joy and okay, have a beautiful day. I love you. I never heard so many times I love you <laughs> <laughs> since I left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's amazing and my parents are very supportive yeah every, every, everyone actually it's and that is the thing it's been so easy for me kind of so sometimes I have this like okay should I feel guilty almost feeling guilty about not feeling guilty Yes, that yes. comes up sometimes. Yeah, I find that for myself too. When there's peace and there's ease, it's like, wait, something is wrong. Mm. And then I was like, no, no, no. This is actually the way to live. Yeah. This is actually what's real. Yeah, yeah. The ease and the joy and the flow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> do you have any more questions? No, Jan? I actually. <laughs> the only other thing I, I was curious <laughs> okay, about the clock was really about the, um, uh, you had, at, at, at some point you posted something that I saw that, that, that was a dream that you had. And it was a dream that was very clear. You remembered it very clearly. Um, this is kind of coming out of left field, but do you recall that it was, it was some sort of a mystical experience almost, where you had um, a number of, uh, encounters with others that you eventually realized were aspects of your own self. I don't remember that dream. Okay. Well, then that, <laughs> then we right segue on. over to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think, <laughs> I think maybe just as a little bit more of a getting to know Sabava is that I know your last name is actually Eliasson, is it? Eliasson. Eliasson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's for our audience and that's for <laughs> me as well. <laughs> And so I thought I would run down something really quick. I mean, just as a getting to know, do you have a favorite course quote in mind right now? Hmm. Beware of the temptation to feel unfairly treated. That Ooh, came in my mind. I, I don't it. know if I have a favorite. It just great. <laughs> favorite chapter. <laughs> favorite chapter. I don't know. I love that, you know, that's all the course, the relationships. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if I have a favorite. Maybe Specific. the last one. Oh. Yeah. I should say anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> favorite workbook lesson? Hmm. Comes in my mind, I am the light of the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. Okay. And, um... And I think I ran this by you really quickly. It's just a way for me to get to know you, for us to get to know you. <laughs> and uh, so if you had to pick which one of the two, it could be one or both or skip. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer sitting meditation, walking meditation? Walking meditation. Singing or dancing? Hmm. That's a difficult one. I like both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a both. Unwind your mind. Back to God or purpose is the only choice as the book. Unwind your mind. Yes, me too. <laughs> one on ones or large gatherings? One on ones. Mm. I don't like speaking in public. <laughs> you are now. Thank you, Jesus. The world had to hear this. <laughs> Traveling or meditating? Traveling. Wow. Wow. That's definitely. Big change based on here. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Tabula Rasa Mystery School or Strawberry Music and Enlightenment Festival that's happening in two different months this year for us. Well, I've never been to a strawberry. So I'll pick that. Ah, yes. <laughs> I had a feeling you would. Oh, cats or dogs? Cats. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Reading David Hoffmeister books or writing in your blog? Oh, rather read David's books. I think I haven't written in my blog for a while. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh. On online retreats or in person retreats? I like online retreats. I know they're awesome, aren't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Trust walk or open eyed eye gazing meditation? Open eyes. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, last one before we all get a song from Savava. I'll say a word and the first word that comes to mind. Okay. David Hoffmeister. Love. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The world. Pain. Hmm. Oh. Miracles. Entitled. What is it? Entitled. Nice. Savava. Princess. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh my God. I love it. And last one, healing. Oh, desire. Oh, why do I say it? I don't know. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, wow. And I think we have time for a song now. We don't know yeah. what Savava is singing, but oh, my word. I know it's mm. going to be amazing. <laughs> this is a song I, um, I wrote. Yeah, maybe a week ago or something. And I was in so much pain and I was crying when I was <laughs> downloading this song. So, oh, thank you. And the title is? It's called My Life Is Not My Own. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Standing on a cliff and calling you Feeling all alone but that can't be true There must be something more than what I see Something pure, endless and free Lead me, Jesus, through the darkness. I trust in you, Jesus. My life is not my own. My life. It's not my own I try to find the truth in the wrong place somewhere out there in a lost space you have shown me that the truth lies within my heart where it has always been lead me Jesus through the darkness I trust in you Jesus my life is not my own my life is not my own. Your glory shows me the way. Jesus, you're all I seek. At your feet I lay my head. Oh. Jesus, thank you. All that I longed for was always here, right now, and closer than my breath. Trust has settled every problem now. Oh, Jesus, you showed me how. Lead me, Jesus, through the darkness. I trust in 
in you, Jesus. My life is not my own. 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 Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's been such an honor. Thank such you. Such an honor. It thank you. Us. No words above us. Thank <laughs> oh. And thank you, everyone, for joining us as we witness this miracle that is in front of us. It's a part of your mind, one mind in the heart of God. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Love, Love you. you.